this is Belle, and today I'm reviewing Snow Like Ashes by Sarah Rash, Rash, I, I have no idea how to pronounce her last name, and I looked online and I can't find an explanation anywhere, so I'm really, really sorry, Sarah, but you should put out a video or something about how to pronounce your last name. Anyway, this is the first book in a trilogy. Um, the first and second books are out. The third book, Frost Like Night, is coming out later this year, I believe. And it follows the story of Mira, a teenage girl who is a refugee. Her country, Winter, um, they're in a world where all of like the countries are named after seasons and other um, kind of like earth patterns. Anyway, so they're from Winter. They're refugees because their country was invaded by spring. Most people were killed or taken into slavery, but there's a small band of them who escaped with the baby king. His mother was killed and his father was killed or didn't exist. I don't remember what happened to his father. He's not important to the story. Anyway, so they have been traveling around with the king who, um, he's a teenager, Mira is a teenager as well, and they're attempting to put back together the pieces of um, the queen's magical necklace, which is called a conduit, um, and it helps her connect to the earth power that would have kept her kingdom um, healthy, and they hope will help them get back the throne and shenanigans ensue. I'm sorry, I don't want to give any spoilers and really intense stuff happens really, really early in this book so I don't want to talk about a lot of it. But um, let's see what there is to say about this. I liked it. This is a good book. Um, Mira is an interesting character in that I don't want to say she's a strong female character. I really don't like that term and I don't like um, the way strong female characters have become a, kind of a trope in YA literature. So she has a good mix going on of wanting to be a soldier, wanting to be useful to the, this group as they're trying to build a way to get their kingdom back and to free their people from the evil king. And she's, I mean, she's grown up with soldiers. Her foster dad is like a general. So being being a soldier and being strong is important to her but she's also a girl um she's not like a ninja girl or a hyper warrior or she's not leading a revolution it's a, so there's a good mix going on there and i really like that i feel like she's a well developed character she's one you can relate to she's um realistic about her emotions and how she deals with life um there is a love triangle. I'm so sick of love triangles. I'm sorry. It's just, there have been too many of them, especially in young adult literature. This one is relatively well handled. It's probably my least favorite thing about the book. So, I mean, if that's the worst thing I could say about the book is that there's a love triangle, I guess that's probably good because I liked the rest of the book. You can just ignore the love triangle and it'll be fine. Um, although I keep hearing hints that I think it gets worse in the second book because I keep seeing all over Twitter with the people who have been reading Ice Like Fire is the second book and they keep like freaking out about it. So I haven't read it yet. I'm sort of worried to read it now. I might just wait until the third book comes out and then read it. We'll see. But um, the so if the love triangle is the worst thing, it's not too bad. There's a lot of um, it's a cool magic system. So it's earth magic, but it comes through the rulers and it comes through the conduits. She didn't spend a lot of time fully explaining the system yet um, because Mira doesn't understand it all yet, which I think is cool. I look forward to learning more about that. Seeing how authors handle different magical systems is neat. I think hers is. Hers is good. Um, the Evil King is also a little bit of a trope. That he, the magic system, but especially Evil King, reminds me a good bit of um, Sauron and the Rings of Lord of the Rings. But it's not too bad. I mean, it's it's different. That it just it reminds me of that. So I. I don't have a lot more to say about it. It's a good start to a trilogy. So it'll 
I'll have a more conclusive idea when I read the second book and obviously when I finish the whole trilogy. She did a good job. It's meant to be part of a trilogy, which I appreciate. It wasn't just written to be one book. So she did a good job of building the base for characters, for the magical system, for the plot, but not giving everything away, but letting there be some resolution through the story and how it ended. So I appreciated that, which makes it a really good start to a trilogy. And it's a, um, yeah, it's a good read. I, that's about all I have to say. It's kind of cool. The author's pretty young. Um, I want to read more about her, but I haven't had a lot of time. She's um, 24 or 25, so not that much older than I am. And she has a really successful young adult trilogy out, which is incredibly cool. I'm super happy for her. That's neat to see people my age um, achieving things and getting national recognition for it and being able to write something that's really worthwhile. It's a really good read. Um, I feel like it's a little bit not up my alley because there is the love triangle and I I keep seeing a lot of kind of fangirls about it, honestly. Fangirls about um, the, the two boys and about the story, but it's a cool, it's a cool universe she's creating. I look forward to seeing more of it. She did a good job with the first book. It's sounding like the second book builds on that. It's not just kind of a placeholder between the first and the third. So if that's true, kudos to her. I'm looking forward to reading it. Definitely recommend this to you, um, especially if you're interested in YA and YA fantasy. Um, even if you're not, it's a, it's a good fantasy book. It's a good read, I think, for anyone. Like I said, there's the love triangle. I mean, we are talking about teenagers, but the plot moves along. There's some neat moments. Um, I don't, I, well, I don't really want to say where because I don't want to give away too much of the story. But there's some neat moments talking about identity and about story and how that's important in our lives. And um, so I think it's a relatively good balance between trying to figure figure yourself out, um, having a revolution kind of going on, um, trying to figure out romance. It's a, a good balance, um, not necessarily the balance you have in a normal teenage life since most teenagers aren't leading a revolution, but there are lots of twists and turns in the book. Um, most of them I saw coming, but not all of them, and she did a good job with them, so, you know, not too much foreshadowing. Um, so yeah, a good solid three or four out of five. I really look forward to seeing what she does with the rest of the trilogy and I totally recommend this to any of you. If you have read Snow Like Ashes or Ice Like Fire, let me know in the comments. I'd love to know what you think. Um, no spoilers, please. If you're going to do spoilers, email me or go like talk to me on my blog or something. But um, love to know what you think about those and love to know what else you've been reading. Let me know in the comments.